example, requires a Flash media server. But what subclipping is, is, well, perhaps what it sounds like. A good example might be that you have a piece of media and you want to show an ad every five minutes. You show five minutes of that media, show an ad. Show the next five minutes of that media, show an ad. All right without you having to say, oh, is, have I hit five minutes yet? Okay, show the ad. Is the ad over? Okay, go back to the piece of media. Right, it's just, it works in the framework. So we will create a streaming URL resource um, pointing to a specific URL and we'll tell it to play from zero to 10 seconds. I'll create a new video element off of that resource and add it to a serial element. Then I'll add a new URL resource pointing to my ad as another video element as a child to my serial element. And then I'll create another resource pointing to um, a separate video, right? So what this is going to do, it's going to play per the first line. I'm going to create a resource that plays the first 10 seconds of one piece of media. I'm going to add that to the serial element. I'm then going to add another video element to the serial element that plays the ad. And then in this case, I'm going to switch over and play seconds 20 to 30 of a second video. It's just kind of a funky example to show you the functionality. But if I were to say, my fellow citizens, that we shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the... ...alloys, some of which have not yet been invented... All right, you see that? So I want to show you the code there because I know the slide was a little obfuscated. Is that big enough for everybody? Okay, so I have these two URLs uh, just to show that you don't need the ad to be streaming, right? So uh, then I'll create the serial element, right? Because this is how subclipping is going to work. I'm going to work build a serial element that contains all the subclip data. And I'm going to, and I made this one kind of weird just again as a demo for everybody. I'm going to create a new video element off of that first streaming URL resource, right? I'm going to create a new video element of the ten, first 10 seconds of Kennedy. I'm going to add that to the serial element. Then I'm going to create a new video element of the ad, and I'm going to add that to the serial element. Then I'm going to add a new video element of seconds 20 to 30 of Kennedy, and add that to the serial element, right? So just clip by clip, I'm building an extended serial element. And then Flash, when I eventually tell it to play, because everything else works the same, right? I add the serial element to the media container. I associate the media property of my media player. Where to, um, Actually, in this case, I don't use the media property. I'm just passing it in on creation just to show you an alternative way, right? When I create a media player, I can pass in its media element, in this case, the serial element. But again, it all works the same way. What's different is just I had to write a bunch of lines of code because I wanted to create a bunch of little clips to constitute